Have you ever wondered why the Roman structures have withstood the test of time, while our modern buildings crumble within decades? An enigma that has puzzled engineers and historians alike, the answer lies in the heart of the ancient world's wonder. Roman concrete. Imagine walking the cobblestone streets of Rome, the Colosseum towering in the distance, the Pantheon standing as a testament to a bygone era. These structures, still standing after thousands of years, are not just architectural marvels, but also a testament to the genius of Roman engineering, the secret to their longevity, a unique material that we've come to know as Roman concrete. This ancient material, exceptional in its durability and resilience, has left a lasting legacy that we still marvel at today. An enigma wrapped in layers of history, its unique properties have remained a mystery for centuries. The key to this longevity, as it turns out, lies in the unique properties of Roman concrete. The story of Roman concrete begins with its discovery. A tale woven into the fabric of time, it is a story of human ingenuity and innovation. It all started in the heart of the Roman Empire around 2000 years ago. The Romans, ever the pioneers, were on a constant quest for development. They yearned to build structures that were not only grand but also enduring. The answer to their quest lay beneath their feet, in the form of a peculiar volcanic ash known as Pozzolana. This ash, named after the city of Pozzuoli in the Bay of Naples, was prevalent in the region. The Romans noticed that when mixed with water, Pozzolana formed a paste that hardened over time. Intrigued, they began to experiment with it, adding lime and other components, effectively creating the world's first concrete. This was no ordinary concrete though. Unlike the lime-based mixtures used in construction prior to this discovery, Roman concrete, or opus cementicium, as the Romans called it, had a unique quality. It could set underwater, making it ideal for maritime constructions like harbors and bridges. This was a game changer. The Romans soon realized the immense potential of their discovery. Not only was this concrete waterproof, but it was also incredibly durable. They found that structures built using this concrete could withstand the test of time, enduring for centuries, a feat unheard of in the realms of architecture and engineering until then. Furthermore, the production of Roman concrete was more environmentally friendly than its modern counterparts. It required lesser heat to create, thereby reducing the carbon footprint. A marvel indeed. The discovery of Roman concrete was not just an achievement in Roman history but a milestone in the history of human innovation. It was a testament to the Romans' ability to harness the resources around them, to create something that would leave an indelible mark on the world. This discovery changed the course of architecture and engineering, paving the way for the grandeur of Roman structures. It was a turning point, a revolution that set the stage for the architectural wonders that define the Roman Empire even today. But what makes Roman concrete so special? This isn't just an idle question. The unique properties of Roman concrete still leave modern scientists and engineers scratching their heads in wonder. Let's take a deep dive into the characteristics that set this ancient material apart. Firstly, Roman concrete is incredibly resistant to erosion. While modern concrete can crumble under the relentless attack of salt water, Roman concrete only grows stronger. This is why we can still see Roman harbors standing strong today, 2,000 years after they were built. Mind-boggling, isn't it? So, how does it manage this? The secret lies in the mix. The Romans didn't just throw together some water, sand, and rocks. No, they added a special ingredient, volcanic ash. This ash, known as Pozzolana, reacts with the seawater, forming a mineral called tobermorite. Now, tobermorite is one tough cookie. It's this mineral that gives Roman concrete its legendary resistance to the sea's corrosive effects. But the wonders of Roman concrete don't stop there. This ancient material also sets underwater. Yes, you heard it right. While our modern concrete needs to be kept dry to set, Roman concrete laughs in the face of such limitations. It can set, and set hard, even fully submerged. The same pozzolana that helps it resist erosion also allows it to set in wet conditions. Quite the multitasker, isn't it? Finally, let's talk about the self-healing properties of Roman concrete. Over time, small cracks can form in concrete structures. In most cases, this leads to slow degradation. But Roman concrete? It heals these cracks by itself. The pozzolana reacts with the surrounding water and carbon dioxide to form new tobermorite crystals, effectively sealing the cracks. These properties not only made Roman concrete durable, but also versatile, being used in a variety of structures both on land and underwater. From aqueducts to amphitheaters, from bridges to bathhouses, 
Roman concrete was the backbone of the empire's infrastructure. And it's a backbone that in many cases, still stands tall today. Roman concrete was the material of choice for the Roman Empire. It became the most widely used construction material due to its unique properties. The Romans used this remarkable material to construct a range of structures, from the simple, to the monumental. Consider the aqueducts, those marvels of engineering that carried water over vast distances. These structures, which still inspire awe today, were built using Roman concrete. The same is true for the grand amphitheaters, where gladiatorial contests and public spectacles were held. Roman concrete was the backbone of these structures, enabling them to withstand the test of time. But it wasn't just the grand structures that utilized Roman concrete. It was also used in homes and businesses, from the humblest abode to the most extravagant villa. Its durability made it ideal for everyday use, ensuring that structures remain standing for generations. The widespread use of Roman concrete is a testament to its versatility and durability. It was the material that quite literally built an empire. So, what can we learn from Roman concrete, you might ask? Well, we are still unraveling the secrets of this ancient material today. Modern scientists and engineers are studying the properties of Roman concrete in the hope of creating more durable and sustainable building materials. Yes, that's right. The Romans may hold the key to the future of construction. Roman concrete's legacy goes beyond its impressive longevity. It has fundamentally shaped our understanding of what is possible in architecture and engineering. The Romans didn't just build structures, they built structures that have withstood the test of time. They pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible, creating buildings and aqueducts that are still standing today, thousands of years later. And this isn't just about preserving the past. By studying Roman concrete, we are learning how to build a more sustainable future. Roman concrete, a marvel of the ancient world, continues to inspire and inform our construction methods today.